Jeff in Boston writes to me, hey Paul, this question is specifically about the connection between a streamer and a DAC. It's my understanding that coaxial digital connections are higher bandwidth but have the potential to introduce noise due to the physical connection between the components. That's correct. Whereas an optical connection like Toslink isolates components from each other but at the expense of less bandwidth. In your opinion, <laughs> oh boy, which one is more important, lower noise or galvanic isolation and why? Uh, this is a great question, Jeff, and the answer is a little nuanced. First off, I think galvanic isolation is perhaps more important, and sonically. So the less noise that we introduce into a modern digital system that is very sensitive to noise, jitter, all the things that we don't like when we listen, if you can connect everything up by any means that is not a physical connection, like a coax, then you are going to be better off. But, and there's always a but, right? So one of the things you suggested is like Toslink. Well, Toslink, which is the Toshiba, that's what it stands for, TOS is Toshiba, the Toshiba Link. Toshiba came up with this consumer product that was cheap and easy to implement. And in general, Toslink is limited to about 96 kilohertz. Now there are some that certainly go higher than that, but in general, you can rely on it to about 96 kilohertz. Is it possible with fiber? Of course it's possible. All of our high-speed communications today go over fiber. Fiber is by far the superior means of transmitting digital audio or computer data, whatever it is. But Toslink itself, the format invented by Toshiba and popularized, is limited. So if we just said Toslink versus coax and you listen to high resolution, like you listen to DSD perhaps, or you listen to 176 or 192 kilohertz, then your best bet's going to be coax. And that's because the higher resolution audio is going to sound better than the degradation you get with the noise. But turn that around and let's not use Toslink as an example. In a perfect world, we'd have everything digital connected through galvanic isolated fiber cables or some other means. But that's the best way to do it. We just don't as a consumer standard inside our DACs and things, heck yeah, do it all the time. All right, thanks for the question. Take it easy.